let's talk about Ghost. Uh, you just announced some sort of acoustic tour with five dates in North America while also doing some signing sessions for the new album. Uh, is this uh, going to be a long set or just a couple of songs? Uh, it is going to be uh, a, a quite short set. We're, we're playing three or four songs just. Um, and, uh, you know, again, it's acoustic and it's yeah. not the entire band there. Right. It's going to be myself and the other guitar player and Papa. Right. So it's, uh, it's not going to be, you know, you, as much as I love the acoustic music, I, I mean, I, I can sit through hours of time in Garfunkel. But, you know, most, after a while, it tends to get a little bit boring. So, um, we chose to sort of keep it down a little. And it's, it's going to be special anyway. So that, that it's going to be a new version of those that you have really seen before. Yeah. Uh, well. So, yeah, we just like to keep it short. I mean, it's also tied in with the, with the signing session. Yes. So, you know, we have to uh, take into consideration that there might be hundreds of people that we need to uh, sort of uh, give a little time to each. Exactly. So, new personalities, new masks. How much of all these are you into? The designing of all these, of all the masks, of all the image. Is someone there looking out uh, for the image of the band for you, or is it just yourself? No, we, we usually sort of have a finger in everything. Yeah. Um, and I'd say that about 90% is it's basically us. And the, the, last, the last 10 is sort of been the initiative of, of uh, you know, whoever's creating. With the odd exception of this time where, where uh, Papa's um, big black film was... Uh, uh, you know, co-design yeah. with a designer. You know, and I'm also going to add that usually the artwork of the record is also like a 50-50 sort of co-work with uh, with our with our artwork guy. All right. Because he already like he, he's doing a lot, but sort of conceptually, it's uh, uh, a. Oh, good. Okay, so this is the third on much expected album of the band. Is there any deluxe edition with extra songs or a new EP with versions of the like you did the last time, or is going to be only these uh, ten tracks, which include two intros? Um, there's been talk about uh, quite a while about the um, an additional sort of EP. Yeah. Uh, we are currently not really settled on what to do because we um, we are just about to start the tour and uh, we have so little time left at home um, that you know we, we, we feel that we might not want to uh, take this little time that we have yeah. and go into the studio uh, we would rather sort of mentally prepare for the, for the tour that leads us into next year, basically. Exactly. So, were you a hundred percent, well, uh, I don't know how to say this, positive or sure about the sound? For example, I have a friend who is a huge Ghost fan, and he's also a sound engineer. But he said he really loves Infested Suman, but he would prefer to re-record the drums for them to sound optimal. So. Regarding the sound of the album itself, uh, were you 100% happy with uh, the final input? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, I think a lot of the things that, you know, you never play the whole time. Yeah. I, I'm not even 100% satisfied with the work. There's always, there's always things. There are always things. All yeah. things. Yeah. But after a while, you know, sooner or later, as right now, you know, uh, I'm listening less and less to the world. Um, and I, I never I never really knew it was But uh, we had a few last minute mistake with the sound, uh, with the mixing and with the master. And also, just because 
in the past, then we see, I mean, the, word, the way that I and some of the eyes of other guys in the band write, um, I write everything in, in the sense that I write all the drums, I write all the bass, all the guitars, everything. You know, we, you know, I want it to sound like this and that. Yes. Um, and usually that is in the demo. Uh, and then basically the drummer is given the track. Here, here you go, learn. Mm-hmm. And that was okay on a new in the system. But we definitely felt that maybe the drums in the drums as a little bit too big. Yeah. So one thing that we wanted to change going to Noyora was that the drums need to be not better played, but it needs to be way more of a force. It sound like a drum is really has to run the head. It really like, has to feel. You know, maybe it doesn't have to be like the guana, whereas the drum is over and the system of the drum are, you know, they are played according to uh, how they were written. Mm-hmm. Yeah, metronomic. All right.